It actually has like some throttle response. Before it, you would have to like literally floor the gas and it'd be like, whoa. Wow, I'm not even kidding, it's all new car. <laughs> all righty, what the heck is up guys? Welcome back to the channel, welcome to another video. I have always wanted to use seafoam. I've never used seafoam on physically anything ever before. So today, we're gonna see what happens when you give an old Mercedes diesel the seafoam treatment. Let's go. When a greater cleaning concentration is needed, use two or more ounces per gallon. And let me tell you, this sucker right here, this 1984 old haggard Mercedes, she needs a cleaning. I have a half can here ready to go, so I'm gonna do the half can first. You supposed to shake this stuff? Okay, full can in. Okay, now we're adding th this to the uh, engine oil, the crankcase oil. Maybe if I can get this thing off without uh, getting it all over myself. This one here is a little weird because the oil goes right onto the uh, actual cam, overhead cam. Um, I don't see anywhere else to fill the oil in, so I'm gonna wing it. I'm gonna dump half of this in here. Because this, this engine takes about 7.9 quarts, so that's about eight-ish quarts. Um, so I'm gonna go one ounce of this to every quart, and I'll dump the rest of this in the gas, or in the fuel tank. about half. Going back on. Now let's take this and put this in the fuel. Okay. Eight more ounces into the fuel, so we have about 24 ounces of sea foam in the fuel, roughly. And then we have about eight ounces in the actual crankcase oil itself. Um, so we got one thing left to do fire it up. Started a little rough. All right, guys, we had to take the car for a drive, obviously. Um, Honestly, right off the bat, I can't really tell a difference. I think I can, but it might just be in my head. Um, the car definitely feels a little faster. Now this thing, it's gonna be easy to tell a difference because this thing is slow. This thing is team low and slow to the fullest extent. Um, just a funny car, you know, just to have fun with. Whoa, the dude's cutting me off. He's gonna wreck into the Haggard. Nice. I don't know, let's keep driving it. We're at, our trip's at 43 miles right now. Let's put some miles on it. We'll uh, come back here in a second. <laughs> I, I think it sounds a lot better, but I don't know. I want to see this thing make a huge difference with seafoam, right? I want to see a difference. I want to see it run better. I want to see it run worse. I want to see something happen from the seafoam. So what am I going to do? I'm going to the store and I'm going to get another can and we're going to put that in the fuel see if we can see anything but I don't know I think I think honestly it runs better I'm not, I'm not just saying that it does have a little bit more power it's, it seems smoother it seems like it's not as struggling um, and also that engine valve tapping noise that you can hear um, it sounds basically like metal banging on metal um, is definitely noticeably quieter but I want to see some real results 
We're headed to the store. We're gonna go get some more seafoam and we're putting it in. All right, I can definitely notice a rougher idle. I mean, look at the car. It's like super shaking. It's a rough idle. But we went about, um, I don't know, like 10 miles. We made it to advanced. I'm gonna go in and grab some more seafoam and we're gonna see what the heck this thing can do on some more seafoam. Now keep in mind, I do only have 10 gallons of fuel in there. So we're at 10 gallons. I already have two of these in there, so what's that? 32 ounces of seafoam for 10 gallons. Um, so that's definitely uh, pretty heavy. So we're adding our third right now. All right, guys, we got the uh, sea foam in the second round. All right, we're definitely over 32 ounces. We got another 16 on top of that. So we got like 48 ounces of sea foam to 10 gallons of diesel. And then we just added another um, probably eight ounces to the oil. So we're about 16 fluid ounces to eight quarts of oil. I just want to see a difference. That's all. Like a noticeable difference. All right, guys, it's literally only been like a couple minutes um, just letting the car idle to get the seafoam flowing through. I can actually rev the car. The car wasn't able to be revved before. Listen to this. Watch the RPMs. It actually has like some throttle response. Before it, you would have to like literally pour the gas and it'd be like, whoa. <laughs> and also, you can't really hear the valve tapping. Um, I mean, you can hear the, it, it's tough to tell because of the actual tractor flap, but before you could really hear the valves tapping, especially when I would rev it. I mean, you can hear them still, but nothing like it was. Listen to that, thing sounds smooth. Unbelievable so far. Oh buddy, we're idling rough. We're trying to pull out of advance. Oh my God, the throttle is like, it's unbelievable how much different it is. Wow, I'm not even kidding, it's a whole new car. I can definitely smell weird fumes from the seafoam burning. So it's definitely burning. It's definitely gonna get in there. We're idling super rough, look at the stack. like a top all right guys I actually 100% notice a real difference uh, the motor sounds like way better Doesn't sound like the valves are gonna come through the uh, valve cover, but that tractor flap vibrates so bad. So whatever you're hearing is that. The, the engine sounds very, very good. Um, so there it is. That is the haggard Mercedes. The thing is looking sweet. But guys, I'm super pumped on the whole uh, seafoam thing. I didn't think it was going to really do that much, but I guess some stuff was pretty gummed up in there. Um, but I don't know. I don't know why I'm stopped in this weird lot in this, in this nice valley. Um, let's go to the garage. All right, guys, we made it back to the garage. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today and checking out me seafoaming the 84 old Haggard Mercedes. Um, the thing is a five cylinder turbo diesel. If you guys aren't familiar with the channel, hit that subscribe button and join the Modern Diesel family. I have so much fun content planned for this little car here. The sun is weird, so you can't see it. Um, we got some parts in right here, as you can see. Um, but yeah, it's just going to be a ton of fun. It's just a fun car.
Long story short, on the Seafoam, I think it absolutely 100% worked. Um, we have about 48 ounces to 10 gallons of diesel fuel, and then we have about 16 ounces into the engine oil, which is, um, I think the capacity is right around eight quarts. So we got 16 ounces of Seafoam to eight quarts. And I'm gonna tell you guys right now that the thing was very, very loud before I did this. Um, the valves were super loud. The engine was just a little rackety. I mean, yeah, it is a 1984 diesel. It's gonna sound, you know, rackety, but, um, it is a 100% world of difference. And then the driving throttle response and takeoff is just, it's, it's way different. The car was very, very slow. It was very sluggish. Um, it basically could barely get out of its own way. So any performance improvement would have been absolutely obvious from how slow it was to what it is now. And there is a huge difference. I've never used Seafoam. So there you go, Seafoam, Modern Diesel approved. If you guys are running something that's old, I mean, some the lady at the store was telling me she runs it in every fill up, she puts some Seafoam in there. I don't know, never done that. What do you guys think? What are your thoughts on Seafoam? There you guys go. It works on the 1984 Mercedes diesel. But that's it guys, I'm headed to the house. Stay tuned for more videos coming your way this week. As always, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace!